water lines here. That's confusing. Max, leave it. Lana, what'd you get? Max, leave it. Hey. hey. It's rabid. Lana, what do you do? She says, hey babe, take a walk on the wild side. Said, hey. hey. Yeah, this bow weighs a lot more than we thought, but this is way thicker than we thought. I mean, you can hear the difference from way down here to up in here. Oh no, it's still thick. Cause she thick. There you go. Not as thick. Really thick. <laughs> really thick. And this thing weighs. They were saying 14,000 pounds. This side still needs to get power washed. Starboard side. But surprisingly, this thing's been in the water for at least eight years. And we're not seeing much damage. Lana? Max! Good morning. It's our first day uh, with our boat being hauled out. And today, Andrew and I are taking off our stanchion posts because we're going to redo them. And we're going to let everything air out. Um, we have new aluminum plates for um, our stanchion posts for underneath. And um, we're currently taking, we're trying to take off this uh, flex seal. The super strong waterproof tape <laughs> that we put on our stanchion post on the bottom of it. We're thinking about using a power wash to do that. Well, we'll we're going to try to. Um, we're going to power wash the bottom of our dinghy today, and we're going to uh, power wash our chain, our anchor chain, so we could get all of that nasty mud from the ocean off. Uh, tell you what else is going on later. Bye. That is all of our disgusting growth. That is why you don't use cheap bolts. These were the bolts that we used on our stanchion posts. And yeah, that was pretty bad actually. Letting these babies air out. This is the flex seal that I was talking about. Yeah, we're trying to, we're gonna be getting a power wash to try to get that out. Good job.
So far we're getting all of our stanchion posts off. It looks so weird without our stanchion posts. I'm so used to it them being on. We are currently drilling bigger holes where our stanchion posts uh, go because we are making um, they're making thick and epoxy for it. This one right here was uh, sealed up. Well, not technically sealed up. Bandy had to go underneath and find where the holes are where we had the stanchion post before he fixed it. <laughs> Down there. <laughs> Here's that one wet spot uh, near the grass pad. Um, yeah, it's a lot bigger than we than I expected, actually. Uh, I gotta epoxy this and redo the holes, as you can see. It's supposed to be here, not here. We had to take off our solar panels because we are getting our engine out today. We are having a little trouble getting our steering shaft off. We're about to get our engine out and we're just having a little bit of trouble here. Okay, baby. Yeah. She's tight, even though I loosened the shit out of it. Just doing a little bit of sanding. Looks like that they're getting the tape ready for paint. And this other worker is getting ready to paint. Got the transmission disconnected, the wiring harness disconnected, got the fuel lines disconnected, everything disconnected. So now we can get this craned out pretty soon and then work on getting this V-drive taken out and the prop shaft taken out. We just uh, took out our V-drive. Oh, there's a lot more fun to come, so you can get more time. Yesterday we got our window repaired. Um, what the damage was at least. We're gonna end up putting a porthole there. Good morning! We're gonna end up putting a porthole there. Um. Good morning. It is day two with our boat being hauled out. Chilly. <laughs> We're supposed to hit 70 today, which is really nice. Andrew and I are about to go um, get some stuff, get some supplies, and uh, come back and do some more work. We are currently putting this in, so when we pull up our anchor, we can tie our anchor chain on this. So it looks like he's standing off um, this in all this blue. We're actually going to be doing platinum gray up until you reach the water line. I think it will look really nice. I'm excited for the results. I think it's going to look really good. Trying to get rid of uh, this entire 
flex seal that we put on there a while ago. So I'm just trying to stand that off. Oh my god. <laughs> Hella thick. I'm trying to get some of the rust off. looks a lot better. That's how thick the hole is here. Can you open the bag? Yeah. Why the rudder, but of all things. I don't know. We have I'll cut it off. And then fire it. We are about to make our backing plates for our stanchion posts using this. Danger! We were supposed to get our engine out while we were hauled out, but the guy or the person that we know, um, I think there was just a misunderstanding. I guess he was waiting on us to take out our engine or to use the crane to take it out, but there's just, there's just a huge confusion going on here. So instead of paying $500, to use the crane, we're gonna try to use uh, ratchet straps and the boom and a bunch of rope to try to like lure it down on the floor. But when she gets weary, try. Good morning, it's day four. Um, we're trying to get some, a wool wax, we're trying to get a lot done today, considering the fact that tomorrow is going to be really cold and cloudy, and Sunday is supposed to rain. And since we're leaving on Monday, we're trying to get as much as we can done. We're still waiting to get our boat power washed on the deck. We got our engine out finally, but we're waiting on the crane to get it fully out of our cockpit, which is really exciting because we'll have that whole engine room area cleared out, and I'm really excited about all that space, and we're just getting rid of dead weight, so it's really nice. But yeah, so today is supposed to be a really productive day for us. It's so pretty! It's so fluffy! Andrew did such a good job. Well, this is a weird shape. Andrew is trying to um, figure out what kind of shape it is. So. <laughs> it's not like a triangle. Triangle has like a corner in the end. This one is a circle. The hardest part is what? It's curved. Oh. They are about to get our engine. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, it's about time. Okay, stay tuned. Our 
engine is officially out. It looks so gross down there. <laughs> but I'm so ready to start cleaning it and make it look all pretty. It's looking pretty good, babe. Andrew is standing down the area where our name Kraken would go. We have a guy coming in sometime tomorrow, I believe, who um, did our font and everything for us. So I'm really excited to see what it's going to look like. I'm using some acetone to get that area all nice and clean. I'm using some white primer to paint that area. Holding everything in place. This looks really good. I believe it's day five. I believe, yeah, day five. Uh, we can't do much today because it's really, really, really cold. But we are trying to do some fiberglassing. We're getting our porthole um, put in today, and um, tomorrow it's going to rain. So tomorrow we're probably going to, in to end up doing some laundry and um, spraying down our engine area. And also our deck as well. Today I think we're supposed to go to West Marine sometime. Can't get our autopilot because they are out of stock for the next week. But we're going to try to get some, some good stuff. You can see Max. <laughs> But yeah, so it'll be a good day, definitely. Still have to fiberglass those uh, spots that we sanded down and did thicken epoxy. We have to do that today as well. Um, maybe we'll do our stanchion post today, but we're definitely trying to uh, do some fiberglassing because today is a much needed, much needed time to do that since it'll be raining tomorrow. So we need time for everything to cure. But yeah, good morning. Our little guard dog. <laughs> Just everything. Putting our steering system back together. Good job. This is day seven. We are currently back in the water. Um, couldn't get our stanchion posts on, which is fine, because we'll just do that later. But we are getting ready to leave soon. We're just waiting for the tide, and then we're gonna have um, one of the workers, Edmundo, tow us out. 
But yeah, we're getting ready to go. We're happy to be back in the water. We're probably gonna anchor near uh, Paradise Cove and then try to figure out our route from there.